Hello, my name is Evan Carterbiano. I'm a member of the Carp Anglers Group and a Gardener Tackle Angler. In this video, we're going to be going over the new members packet from the Carp Anglers Group. This packet was made possible by the generosity of Michelle at Gardener Tackle and also Big Carp Tackle here in the United States. If you're not a member of the Carp Anglers Group, be sure to check it out as they are America's oldest and largest nonprofit carp angling organization in the United States and have much to offer both the new and seasoned carp angler alike. Gardner Tackle is a manufacturer of a wide range of fishing equipment based in England and has been in business since 1980. The new member pack comes with a good assortment of items to get you started catching carp or improve your catch rate if you've already been carp fishing. If you found this video but missed the new members packet, don't worry, all the equipment used here is also available at Big Carp Tackle for purchase anytime. We'll go over each of the components and then we will take a look at how to put some bait on a hair rig and also how to tie a basic hair rig. We're going to do that indoors as outside is a bit windy and it's a bit cold. You can see the ice behind me. So let's go inside and see how we get this done. As you can see here, there is a good number of different components and offers a real value for money. There are two different baiting needles, a fine baiting needle and a thicker standard baiting needle, hook liners for tying your own rigs, hair stops for using with these two hair rigs that come pre-tied and also for your own rigs that you will tie later on, some aligner anti-tangle sleeves that are used for keeping your rig from tangling when casting and also help present the bait better on the bottom. A packet of size 6 MAGA hooks. Disruption skin hook link, which is a coated hook link, so it's got a stiff outer coating and a soft braid inner. Great for tying your own rigs. Quick lock swivels. Some Enterprise plastic corn in pineapple flavor. Carp Anglers Group patch. Carp Anglers Group sticker, and the North American Carp Angler, which is a publication produced by the Carp Anglers Group and is one of the few in-print publications uh, dedicated to carp fishing in the United States. So the first thing we're going to cover is how to put a bait on a hair rig. So I've got the fine baiting needle, which is my personal favorite, the ambush rig pre-tied, the hair stops, the plastic corn, and a pair of scissors. So first off, let's get the rig out of the pack. Comes out nice and easy. And here we have the hair. So with a hair rig, the bait doesn't go on the hook. It actually goes on this loop here, on this little bit of line. And as you can see, this line here has been stripped back a little bit. So it's got a soft section at the end and then a stiffer section here. Goes down to a little loop and the swivel. So we'll get our hair baiting needle out. And at the end of the baiting needle is a little notch. And that is what you're going to use to be able to slide the bait from the baiting needle onto the hair. Plastic corn is really a great carp bait and works surprisingly well just by itself. But you can also combine it with real corn, so sweet corn or field corn maize, or uh, with a boily or a tiger nut or any other carp bait that you want to use. You can put a little piece of plastic corn right on the top. So I've got two pieces of the plastic corn here. I'm going to push those right through the center of the corn onto the baiting needle. like so. And then all we're going to do is hook the loop of the baiting needle over top of that little notch. So they're hooked together now. 
we're going to slide the corn off the bending needle and onto that hair. Like that. Now if you were to leave it just like that, obviously the bait could pull right off. And if you had any small nuisance fish like sunfish or catfish or something like that, they're just going to take the, the plastic right off. So we don't want that. So now we're going to get one of the length of hair stops here. And you can see there's many segments here and we're just going to nip off this end here, which isn't needed. And then nip off one kind of dumbbell size piece, which is kind of hard to see, but there it is right there. And then we're going to put that right through the loop on the end of the hair and pull the bait up tight against it. And that's all that's needed, just like that. And then imagine this carp's mouth, the carp moves up and moves away, and the hook gets right into the lip. Uh, could be the bottom lip, could be the side, but it's basically self-hooking. So you would then attach the rest of your rig to this way. So there'll be a, a gardener lead clip or a method feeder or something like that. And I will do another video on the... Um, Gardner lead clip setup, which is not included in this kit, but is available for from Big Carp Tackle, and I'll put a link in the description below. Okay, so now we're going to talk about how to make your own rig. It's actually pretty simple, but there are a few steps involved, and I will walk you through these now. So here's our hook link material, and as I mentioned before, this is a coated hook link, so it's got a soft inner braid with a harder coating over it. And let's get this unwrapped. And we're going to pull off about, I like my hook links a little bit longer, so we're going to pull off about uh, probably 11 inches or so. Now we're left with a section of coated braid. Now, you could tie the rig right in this hard, stiff braid um, with the coating still on, or you can make a rig similar to the one that was in the pre-tied rig where we're going to strip back a section of it, probably about four inches or so, um, and take that stiffness off, coating off. So you can use your teeth. I prefer not to generally use just the kind of stiffer edge or the little bit sharper edge. You don't want to use the sharp edge, but you can use the uh, kind of corner on a pair of scissors or something like that to get it started. They also make a braid stripping tool, which is pretty handy. So now we have the soft inner coating, the inner braid rather, without the coating. And as you can see, that's just soft like regular braid that you'd use on your reel. So now, what we're going to do first is we're going to tie a little loop in the end to put our bait onto. And I like to make these fairly small, but you can make them a little bit larger, it's not going to hurt anything. We have a little loop on the end. Just with a little overhand loop knot. Then we're going to take one of the hooks and going from the back towards the point. We're going to slide the line through like so. We're going to make it how long we want it to be. I want this for just a couple of grains of corn so I'm just going to Leave it probably half an inch or so beyond the bend and the hook. So, so far we have the loop tied on the end of the hook link. 
and the line threaded through from the back that is away from the point of the hook towards the point. So now if we were to say we want to use let's just say two grains of corn. And we want to make this rig the right length, make the hair the right length. So we want to go past the bend of the hook a little bit. And I generally like to have it just a just a little bit off the end. So something like that will make it a little bit longer. You could also thread these on and put them on like you were baiting up. Gonna put them on the hair and um, go ahead and put them on the hair even and to get your length. But that'll work right about there. So then we're gonna start wrapping down the shank with the this is the end that is uh, the coated end and you can see the coating goes down to about the coating goes down to about here so we're going to start wrapping that one two three four five six seven and we're going to take the coated end and put it right through that eye of the hook again from the back towards the point and then we have it. So there's a little bit of uncoated section there. Just a short little piece. That's how I like to tie it. But you can adjust the length of that um, to kind of play around with hooking mechanics and make it how you would like it. That's the fun thing about tying your own rigs is you can really play around with the lengths and everything and get it just the way you want it. Now, if you were wanting to put on some of the hook liners. Now would be the time to do it. And I'll go ahead and show you how they go on. So we'll get one out. And these have a little crook in one end and a larger opening at the other. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take the coated end of the hook link and put that through from the fat end out the, the thin end with the little crook in it. Pull that down and then we're just going to slide that right over the eye of the hook. So that the crook is pointing down. And there you have it. You could strip back more if you wanted it to have a still soft section, or you can leave this stiff and just have the hair be soft and the rest of this be stiff. And it turns over nicely, you can see. When I pull it across my hand, it always digs in. So it's always going to turn to face the direction, um, face down into the direction um, of something pulling across it, say it's a carp slip. And then. So we still have the rest of the rig here. I'm actually going to take that off for this rig. Um, just have this be a very basic hair rig. So that's where we're at so far. You can see there's a little soft link, soft link there. And the rest is stiff. Now we're going to take one of our anti-tangle sleeves. And we're going to, kind of like with the hook liner, we're going to slide this on from the thin end to the fat end. And that's all we're going to do with that. We're just going to slide that on like that. And then at the other end of the hook link, we're going to tie a small figure of a loop. Now this doesn't have to be a very large one. You can use a baiting needle, works great for retying applications. And then we're going to snug that down. Now, if you're going to use the baiting needle to snug down knots, use the bottom here, it's uh, thicker, especially on this thinner baiting needle. We're just going to gently snug that down. So, here's the figure of eight loop knot. I'm going to cut off the tag end. And 
and there we have it. Now this hook link you can run over some hot steam on say on a tea kettle or something like that on the stove or even just a little pot of boiling water. You don't need much water in it, just a little tiny bit. And you can steam this and then when you do that pull it over the top like this and it will uh, straighten right out so that uh, it becomes uh, really really straight and nice and stiff and straight and that way it won't tangle and uh, it'll lay out, help lay out flat on the bottom when you cast out and gives the, really the best presentation. So now what you would do is, what, however you had your lead attached, you take one of these quick lock swivels and put your lead arrangement um, onto your line going down to your rod. Tie the quick lock swivel on the end, and then what you'll be able to do is clip it on like that. So you can see that's clipped on the on the little loop. And then you just slide the anti-tangle sleeve down like that, and that keeps it from coming off. And then this would be extra tangle resistant because it will fit into the lead uh, clip or the method feeder or whatever you're using and keep it sticking out straight so that you won't have any tangles, or fewer tangles anyways.